Hello everyone, for today's magic card trick tutorial, I thought it'd be neat to share with you kind of a self-working sandwich effect. Um, it can be self-working, but I'll show you um, right now a different way of doing it, and then I'll explain how to do it self-working in the tutorial part. This trick is called Between the Two Red Queens, so we're gonna need the two red queens for this trick. So here we got the Queen of Diamonds and the Queen of Hearts, okay? And then we just have a regular deck of cards, well-mixed, well-shuffled. And then you have a spectator, just go ahead and select any card that they like. Let's say they pick that card right there. They look at it, remember it, don't show you, okay? You take their card, lose it somewhere in the middle of the deck. You have no idea where it is. Give the deck a few cuts and even a nice shuffle, okay? Now, the trick is called between the two red queens because you're going to need to find their card between the two red queens. So let's just say... If their uh, card was on the first 13 cards of this deck, we could easily find it by just counting out 13 cards. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, okay? And now if we just sandwich these 13 cards in between the two red queens, we could have magically found their card and we'd be done. But there's 13 cards here, so let's use um, a little different method here. If I spell out between, B-E-T-W-E-E-N, okay, the, T-H-E, two, T-W-O, and they're red, so R-E-D, and then finally queens, Q-U-E-E-N-S, we can magically find one card is between the two red queens. Now I have no idea what card you picked, but could it possibly have been the three of hearts? And that's between the two red queens. And like I said, there is a self-working version you can do that's a little bit easier than what I just showed you. So before I show you how to do this trick, please, as always, uh, like this video um, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And if you have any comments, just leave them below and I do read them and I do respond to them and I appreciate it, okay? Also, check out thebestmagicshop.com where you can find some awesome new magic tricks, accessories, shirts, bags, and more for yourself or anyone who just likes magic. And now for the tutorial. Okay, so between the two red queens, it's a simple trick. Um, you have, it's, you only use a regular deck of cards and you wanna get the two red queens out, okay? So, um, you're gonna need, you can do this trick self-working um, with just 13 cards and the two red queens, or for what I did was I just had a spectator select any card that they liked, and I just got their card to the top of the deck. And by doing that, I just said, I'm gonna put it about halfway in the deck, and I exaggerate like this. Here, I push down on their card, that'll lift the top cards up, giving me a break. So their card is on top of this bottom stack right here. And all I do is take about half of this top stack here, place it on the table, say we're gonna give the deck a few cuts. That's the first stack. And then the second stack, I just cut right to the break, place those on the table, and then place this stack on top of those. And now their card is on top of the deck. Now you can give them a shuffle. Just as long as you shuffle the top card last, that just keeps their card on the top, okay? Then you say you're gonna need 13 cards for this trick, so then you just count down 13 cards. This is their card. It's now gonna be on the bottom of the stack, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Place the other cards aside, and then take the two queens and place one on the bottom and one on the top. Now, the self-working part of this trick is you can just start off with 13 cards, okay? And see that their, their selected card is on the bottom of the stack, okay? Because you counted down 13 cards. So if you had a spectator, just pick any card out of the 13. Let's just use the same card, okay? You place their card on the top and then just do a reverse shuffle to get their card on the bottom of the stack of 13, okay? So if you're here starting the trick, just self-working part, you say I have you know 13 cards, they can pick any one of these 13, you can mix them up or whatever, okay? So let's just assume they pick this card here. Place it on top and then just do a reverse shuffle, which is you're just taking the top card, place it on the bottom, and then just taking cards off the top and putting them on top of that, okay? And then you can continue this as long as you just keep um, the bottom card on the bottom by just, you know, you can reverse shuffle by just taking the top, the top card and the bottom card and then just keep shuffling. 
over and over and over again. So it looks like you're mixing up the cards, okay? The reverse shuffle move looks just like that when you're keeping their card on the bottom, okay? So that's kind of the self-working part about this trick, okay? So now, no matter which way you do it, you're here. Their card is on the bottom of the stack of 13. Take the two queens, place them in between, one on top and one on the bottom, okay? Say so the 13 cards are in between the two queens, okay? And then just spell out between the two red queens, okay? So you start off spelling out between, B-E-T-W-E-E-N. Take these cards, place them on top, okay? Do it again, but with the word the, T-H-E, okay? The remaining cards, just place them on top. Two, T-W-O, remaining cards, place them on top. Red, R-E-D, remaining cards, place them on top. And then queens, Q-U-E-E-N-S, remaining cards, place them on top. And that automatically places the two red queens in between whatever card was on the bottom of the stack of 13, and boom, look at that, it's their selected card, okay? So that's between the two red queens, and it's, uh, like I said, a regular deck of cards, and it, it can be kind of a self-working trick, it's not too difficult to do. You just have to know how to spell out between the two red queens, and you know, place the remaining cards on top, just do it you know, each time um, you have a new word, okay? And that's it, it's kind of a self-working sandwich, and it's uh, pretty simple to do, okay? Let me know what you think, I appreciate it, and until next time.